We moved to Grand Rapids, ended up being homeless. It was just a little over eight years ago that we filled out paperwork at a homeless shelter. And then I talked to my cousin's landlord into giving me a chance, I got a job, and slowly but surely moved up, and now I own a house, a couple vehicles, and with one income providing for seven people, no matter what job, it's difficult, especially when I don't have a college degree or anything, so. I remember we would go to make a sandwich for lunch, and it was moldy bread, and the only thing that you had to make a sandwich was barbecue sauce and cheese. And so you make do, and you eat that because it's food, and you're hungry. Poverty is a really big issue, but if we can break that apart, we can look at simple things, like how can we solve the challenge of students being able to come to school with a well-balanced diet and nutrition? Or conversely, how can we send them home? So I think we can address hunger by simple things of making sure that no child in our community ever has to worry about where their next meal is going to come from. School is not just about academics. It's about the small things that allows us to be able to do what we need to do. And so now they're sustained. For some kids, this might be their dinner. Having the relationship with Kids Food Basket is a part of our academic program. Kids are just like adults. It's hard to function without your needs met. Kids don't have the tools in their basket yet to be self-regulated at these ages. The five, six, and seven-year-olds just don't have that within them yet to know I'm hungry and that's why I'm acting out. Sometimes they can't let you know verbally what's going on. They just feel it within their body. So we've seen a huge reduction in behaviors since we've been offered Kids Food Basket. Our region is, is growing at a rapid pace. Uh, but one of the things we have to realize is it's not growing for everybody. You know, for us in, in, in economic development, we need the best and the brightest, you know, coming out of our educational systems. And if you're going to school hungry, you're not going to develop like those that do. And so we have to do everything we can as a community, not just the right place, but as a community, to surround our children with all the resources they're going to need outside of education to make themselves successful. I would love to see Kids Food Basket in all of our elementary schools. I'd love to see it expanded in the middle school as well. We shouldn't allow for any child to go home hungry regardless of their age, regardless of their home, regardless of their income. Fresh produce is just so expensive. I mean, one tomato is like two fifty. You know, there's seven of us, so we could go through five tomatoes in one meal and you know, that's 15, 20 bucks and not feasible in my budget. The fresh produce that Kids Food Basket provides for these kids is just so great. So many kids out there have probably never even seen some of the produce. It's like Christmas every day when they get that sack supper. They're always so excited, rushing out the doors right over here at their school. And the first thing they want to do is throw their backpack down, rip open that sack supper to figure out what they got. Kids developing brains need food. And the, the sack suppers that are provided by Kids Food Basket are an essential part of that. Jefferson Elementary, who was one of our first schools to launch this, is now one of the highest performing elementary schools in the state of Michigan when compared to their peers. In every good recipe, there are specific ingredients that have to be there, and sack suppers is one of those ingredients that's contributing to our overall academic success. That sack supper, that Kids Food Basket brown bag, that is the beginning of the process of getting home. Without it, it changes the consistency of their day. It allows them to feel another level of safety, another level of care. They want to wait and make sure that they get that before they leave. So if parents are signing them out, they're like, wait, are the sack suppers here yet? It does make a difference in their life. I remember being a student at Buchanan Elementary School and receiving the sack suppers through Kids Food Basket. Knowing that the community cares and that you're well fed, that you're nourished, it means the world. If kids are always eating macaroni and hot dogs and ramen noodles, it's a lot different than sunflower seeds, cherry tomatoes, broccoli. It's a big difference. And it's really essential and important at the early foundational years of growth and development that we have a well-balanced diet and nutrition for our developing brains. For us to be able to have students make all those connections in memory, the cognitive functioning, the development of both lobes, them to be hungry to learn, and to be able to do that, we need to make sure the hunger pains down below are all well taken care of. A bad diet uh, could bring on some medical issues, not maybe in the present, but in the long run. High fatty foods and high sugary foods, a lot of processed foods, have an impact that is not favorable for overall health as individuals. You may have a community that is not healthy because of all these foods that are not as nutritious.
You see the faces of the kids when they get their kids' food basket in their locker. You see how much they light up. We rely on it to make sure that we extend that love, that care that we do throughout the day. That just allows us to do it at a higher level. We care about you as a community. So it's not about another handout. It's about all hands in to help grow our community. Because I want to work, get money. You're investing in our future workforce. If you want the future of our region to succeed and you want our children to be the next generation of workforce in West Michigan, you have to invest in, in their nutrition. These are the kids that are going to lead our future. Those brown paper bags is what helped me be where I am today. So it's time for us to step up and say, what can we do? If it's not us, then who? And if it's not now, then when? And I think now is the time to do that and build upon a program that's demonstrated success. They are absolutely amazing. And if you are a human that cares about kids, I would always suggest Kids Food Basket.